Hi, um, it's gonna be a quick Zippo repair video. A bunch of my friends just got their first Zippo, and they've been having a couple of problems. And they don't know what's up, and so they've been texting me saying, like, you know, why isn't my Zippo working? So I thought I'd do a quick video on how to fix some of the things that you're probably gonna get with the new Zippo. Um, the first one's a stuck flint wheel. Um, I don't necessarily have that problem right now, but when you first get a Zippo, your flint spring is gonna be really tight. When you put that first brand new flint in there, your flint wheel is going to get stuck and it's not going to spark like this one is, so it's just, it can spark on its own, it'll get stuck and you'll think that it's, you know, broken. Uh, that's not a big deal, your, um, flint is just getting caught up on the new wheel, the wheel's new, the flint's new, and the spring's new, so everything's really tight in there and it'll get hard to strike. So all you gotta do is pull out your insert, it might be, you know, snug in there, and then you unscrew your flint wheel. You used your case if you want to, or a screwdriver, or just your fingers. And untie your flint, I unscrew your flint wheel. I mean your flint spring, sorry. You unscrew this. Let your flint out, might not come right out, just spin the wheel, or smack it a little bit, and your flint will come out. Take your flint, spring back out, and just stick it back in there. And that should get the part where your flint was stuck, unstuck, and Put your insert back in the case and should work fine after that. Uh, another thing to do, Zippo usually says it, is spin the wheel backwards. Like push it forwards instead of pushing it down. And that will get a nice groove in your flint and it'll be easier to spark. And yeah, so if you have any troubles with your Zippo, just uh, leave a comment. I'll answer them as soon as I can and tell you what's up. Yeah, so, there you go.